Hey everyone, welcome back to Radial Dynamics. Tonight I want to do a simple demonstration to disprove the pump myth that I keep seeing pop up on the internet that uh, the idea that pumps put out a constant pressure in a hydraulic steering system. In actuality, most hydraulic pumps, power steering pumps included, are what we call fixed positive displacement. This means that every revolution of the pump shaft, they move a fixed volume of fluid, so for a given drive speed, there's going to be a fixed flow rate regardless of the operating pressure of the system. Pressure is just a matter of resistance to flow in the rest of the hydraulic circuit. So if you think about the times that you're sitting in your vehicle, maybe you're stopped and you're not touching the steering wheel, all of your fluid is going through the open center of your steering control valve right back to the reservoir, and it's producing very little pressure on the high pressure side of the pump, even if you have your motor pegged at redline. As soon as you start to turn the steering wheel, now your fluid is being diverted into the hydraulic ram, which is seeing resistance from the tires not wanting to turn, so the pressure starts to build until the force that's generated by the ram overcomes the resistance of the tires. So to prove that flow rate remains constant and that pressure is just a matter of resistance to flow in the hydraulic circuit, I'm going to do a real simple demonstration here on our pump test stand. I've installed a 7 gallon per minute flow regulated trophy truck pump, and this means that it has an internal pressure compensated flow control valve. It sounds really fancy, but essentially what it does is it allows just enough recirculation internally in the pump body to maintain a constant discharge flow rate actually going out to the rest of the system. Because these pumps are positive displacement, the flow rate internally is directly proportional to the pump drive speed. So this maintains a more controllable flow rate through the, throughout the rest of the steering circuit. So once I get this fired up, I'm going to adjust the resistance to flow in the system by using this needle valve. This allows me to very finely control an orifice internally that partially blocks the flow. We're going to see what happens to the pressure using this pressure gauge, and we're going to monitor the flow rate using this flow meter. So I'm going to get this fired up and show you what happens. So right now the, the motor is running at just above idle speed. We've already reached the point where the flow control valve that's internal in the pump is now regulating the flow, and you can see that currently the flow rate through the meter is about six to seven gallons per minute. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to change the pressure by restricting the flow line. You can hear that as the pressure begins to increase, it's actually straining the motor. But now if I increase the speed of the motor, even though I've now increased the speed by several thousand RPM, the flow rate remains constant. And as I now start to restrict the flow, pressure shoots up to 1,000 psi, still without changing the flow rate. One more time. And there we have it. So the next time that you hear one of your buddies say, hey, all hydraulic steering pumps are constant pressure, feel free to drop a little bit of knowledge on them. So as always, I hope you found this video informative. We have a lot more ideas for videos that we want to do in the future, but if there are any topics that you want to see in particular, please feel free to leave a comment below or shoot us a message. Um, we're always happy to see what our audience is interested in. So with that, have a good night, and I hope to see you on the trails.